Okay, just a reminder, I'm going to use integration by parts to do this problem. And that means I'm looking at this over here, u dv. That would be uv minus v du. All right? So looking at that, <clears throat> I'm going to split the integrand. Let's see, secant. Secant squared. <clears throat> dx. All right? One step at a time. And let's take a look at this over here. So let u equal secant of x. That means du would be secant x tan x dx. This forces me to choose the secant squared dx. would equal the dv now, all right? So just going through that step over there, I just want to point out this stuff is written down for you. So we got this part covered, we got this part covered, we got this part covered, and this part covered, all right? Um, looking at it, I do want to write down the, <clears throat> the integration now in parts. So it's going to be, let's see, u, I well, forgot to write down V. Sorry about that. Didn't write that down. I should write it down. So, tangent X would equal V. The reason for that, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. Let's go back over here. Write this down now. So you get secant tan, that's the u v part, minus, now we're going to do the v du, so it's going to be tan x, and the du is secant tangent, so I'm going to say tangent squared secant x. All right, it, did, it got easier. And what do you mean by easier? At least I'm looking at something that it lo looks a little more manageable to me. So let's keep writing that down. I'm going to bring this over here now. And so I got equal secant x tan x minus, I'm going to write the tangent in terms of secants now. And what do you get? Well, the tangent would be, let's see, secant squared minus one secant x. All right, we keep moving. And we get secant x tan x. Again, I want to remind you this is equal to secant cubed. That's going to be minus. Well, I'm starting to see something. I'm seeing minus secant cubed. And then, let's see, plus secant x dx. Well, I'm kind of recognizing certain things over here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the secant cubed to both sides now. What do you get? You get 2 secant cubed dx equals secant x tan x. And let me just say what I've counted for. I got these covered. I got this covered. And I know that guy's not the derivative. And we did that before. And what's it going to be? Plus the natural log of the secant x plus the tangent of x. Absolute value. Uh, let's see. Plus c. All right. I'm almost done. I'm going to call it c1 because I have to divide by 2 now. So I'm going to say secant cubed is going to be equal to this thing divided by 2, which is secant x tan x plus the natural log secant x plus tan x 
over 2 plus some constant integration, and we're done. All right, let's take a look at the K, see how we did, and see so we got that answer over there. All right, so we got this over here, CKNX tan X, got that, got the divided by 2, I got this natural log, and we got the constant C. We're good to go. Thank you.